Brian here from quantlabs.net. I uh, just wanted to show you something very cool. Uh, I've got the current version of MATLAB installed on my system. Um, as you know, uh, there is a, a very powerful feature within MATLAB that enables you to co-generate into C or C++. Now, hopefully you've gone through tutorials that I've provided. I even got source code projects on SourceForge.net available uh, to demo this. But one of the hard parts about uh, code generation, especially with a MATLAB compiler, um, is do you have a function that is that can be code generated? Uh, so let's say you have a series of M files. In this case, I just downloaded this TA, T, TA tool. Um, I just did a video no more than 15 minutes ago. Um, but just to show you how productive you are with MATLAB, uh, in, in order to do something like this, there's a little cool little trick I just discovered that is going to be very useful for people that are into taking a MATLAB M script file and seeing if it can be co-generated into C or C++ with obviously the MATLAB code or toolbox. Now, just before I continue with this, it's very critical that you understand that not all functions within the MATLAB system is entirely supported with the MATLAB code. It's one of the weaknesses of it. But if you develop algorithms, in this case, uh, we've got all these different uh, analysis, technical analysis functions. Um, you know, if you're using a uh, an, uh, another toolbox function, let's say you want to test for uh, um, what do you call it, you want to test for a null hypothesis and you're trying to do it through an angle Granger test u using the financial toolbox or anything like that, uh, typically the MATLAB coder will not support that function. So what will happen is uh, the, the compiler or, or the MATLAB coder will reject that MATLAB M script file, meaning it cannot be co-generated. So here we are uh, with some of these functions, like these analytical functions. Um, I'll, I'm going to load in, let's say, this TA tool, which I believe is the main uh, tool or main M function for this entire uh, project. Now, if you, if you come under your file explorer, um, in the workspace, uh, you, you will come across, if you write click a check code generation readiness. Now if you if you um, uh, just do that you'll obviously get um, a, a set of results meaning you know you have some um, uh, functions that are not supported um, like here unsupported MATLAB function calls like this GUI handles, delete, GUI data, whatever that might mean um, and it just gives you a, a lot of cool, um, re, a, a really good report on what can be and what is and what is not uh, supported. So obviously I'm drilling down into this uh, MATLAB function, but that's just one function. Now, as I said before, um, we have a variety of an analysis uh, functions here. So let's say my RSI, so off it goes and says, suitable now or with minimal changes. So it looks like that this is definitely uh, uh, capable of being co-generated um, and uh, yeah you should be able to do that no problem. Um, same maybe with this guy uh, and so on and so forth. So if I look at the RSI uh, function you'll probably notice that there's really no external all right, I'll call them not like functions that are not supported for code generation. So, all in all, this is a very cool function within the new MATLAB, the current version of MATLAB, and uh, it's, it's again uh, the benefit of using something like MATLAB, which makes you so productive. Uh, it's so many light years ahead of something like R. Um, I mean, yeah, you do pay for it, but this is where the productivity is. Where if you're gonna compare a commercial product versus an open source product like R, 
uh, for me, I'd, I'd, I'd easily pay for productivity versus just lost time and just da 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 da. Um, this is one of the benefits, and I really, really like this function. I just thought I'd just create this video for you, just just so that you you could see it um, in action.